third and ten. Nebraska again, rolling, under pressure, down. Trio of tacklers that time. C Slack again making that play. He didn't make the final tackle quite, but he caused that pressure to really make that play. A guy who had 10 tackles in the interception last week to lead the team, coming out strong here again, and again leading his team to victory. Great performance by C Slack. On this second down and 10 to start the second quarter, pass caught and fumbled. Johnny on the spot is St. Joseph's, and that's C Slack. Mark Seaslack, the man who ends up coming up with the fumble recovery. From the one, plunging ahead into the end zone. Yes, it is. Touchdown, St. Joseph's. And this time, it's Seaslack. Seaslack's a guy. Um, that the coaching staff says has great instincts. He's not afraid. He's a head first type guy, a smart player who really understands how to play the game of football. And there you see it as he ducks his head down, goes underneath the defense to get into the end zone. Real heads up play there by C. Slack. And he protected the ball too, right after, right up until he stretched up and over the goal line. Right. Five plays, just 13 yards, minute 50 seconds eclipsed. And of course, the result. The one-yard touchdown run for the senior C Slack. Five-step drop, trying to set up a screen, nothing doing. And that's C Slack again. Just a big physical specimen, really putting the stamp on the game. One of the, one of the defensive leaders of the St. Joe's team, always making plays. Headsy guy, absolutely. But led by Mr. C Slack, who's, who's still making plays. He's still playing. He hasn't taken his foot off the gas. I mean, he's, he's, going, he's going to the wall and making plays until this thing is over with, ensuring that victory for St. Joe's, Montville.